Hey everybody, today we're at King's Dominion. Um, yeah, the park opens at 12. It's only open for six hours today, but I guess that's because it's not gonna be busy because I'm here 15 minutes before pass holder early entry, which is at 11.30 and there's nobody here. Like the line to get in, there's like one line and it's not even that long um, versus at most parks, there's like a crowd of people normally. Like at Great America, when I got to the park early it was literally like this whole plaza filled and you can see there's like one line of people or oh, i don't even know if you can see that right there um so yeah we're gonna be in the park hopefully in 15 minutes and i am here for three days just because carowinds was only open uh five to ten on friday and they're open all day saturday so i'm here through wednesday bush gardens on thursday and carowinds on friday and saturday is the plan Things might change. I'm thinking if I get everything done here and get forward to go to the water park one of the days. But anyway, I'm gonna get in line. I will see you guys once we're into the park. All right, we are in the park and man, this entrance area is beautiful with the fountains and the Eiffel Tower and all the bushes and the trees. It's great, honestly. I know the ride lineup, I've looked at the ride lineup, this this park, it seems like it shares a lot of rides with Kings Island, and then, like, Twisted Timbers is probably better than Mystic Timbers, and Inseminator might be better than Orion, but it seems like the entire layout is stronger at Kings Island, but I will say, so far, this park is way more beautiful. Um, anyway, we're in for early entry, and I don't know exactly what rides are available, but I'm pretty sure I've heard that Dominator is open early, so that's what I'm gonna head towards right now. It's their floor list relocated from Geauga Lake, so let's see how that is. I just got off Dominator, that was fun. Um, for a floorless, or for even a B&M looper, I would say it's not the most intense. Like I feel like most, you keep a good speed, but I feel like most of the elements are really large, so you kind of just float through them. So the ride flows really well, but there's just nothing crazy about it. But I definitely enjoyed it and it was really smooth. I would probably put it as either my number two or number three floorless, definitely after, um, after Hydra. So yeah, I don't know what's up next, but I'll see you guys in the next thing. All right, just rode Woodstock Express. It's a clone of the one at Kings Island, I do believe. It's just a family wood coaster. But there was actually two good pops of airtime. This is definitely the better of the ones I've ridden when it comes to family wood coasters. Um, yeah, it was fun. I mean, nothing crazy, um, but you know, a credit, and I enjoyed it. Um, great pumpkin coaster, which is the same kitty coaster they have at Kings Island, same rule. Above 60 inches, you have to have a kid. So I don't get that credit, but it's not the end of the world. Heading now towards like the jungle expedition section of the park, Rip Volcano. Never got to ride it. it, looked like a legendary ride. But yeah, we got Tumbili back here, I believe Anaconda. And then obviously as we work our way farther back, we're gonna get to Intimidator and some of the big rides. So I'm excited, I'll see you guys once we get to the next ride. All right, Tim Dealey is up next. It's another SNS free spin. Um, I'm expecting it'll hopefully be about the same, if not better than the others. So I'm gonna give it a ride. <laughs> I think it's the newest one that's been installed. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how it is afterwards. Pretty fun, not the craziest one I've ever ridden, but I met these guys on it. We got Mark, 
Zach and Emily here and they want to hang out so we're going to be hanging out today. So I guess next up is Reptilian right over here in the Jungle Expedition section of the park. So we're going to try that. I've never ridden a bobsled, decided to try it out. How I feel about the ride, it was fun. Alright, just rode Reptilian, um, first bobsled. You know, it wasn't anything crazy but definitely had, I don't know, like an interesting feel not being on the track. It wasn't like crazy forceful or anything, but it was definitely good fun. What do you think? What do you think of Reptilian? Oh, he's busy. But oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, I was saying, what did you think of Reptilian? Uh, it's, it's all right. It's not yeah, bad. Not crazy, but it's cool to not be on a regular track to be on a bobsled. But anyway, I don't know what's up next, but I'll see you guys in the next ride. All right, five years up next, ridden the one at King's Island, so I know what to expect, but just going to get on it for the credit. You know, it's not a bad ride. It's fun. So yeah, I'll see you guys after that. All right, Flight of Fear is fun. Got it in the front row. That launch packs a good punch, but it's not the most crazy ride ever. Like I said, Kings Island, I wish that they would uh, turn the lights off all the way, but you know, it's all right. It was still fun. Anyway, next ride up is going to be Intimidator, my most anticipated ride at the park. I do think Twisted Timbers might be the best ride here, but Intimidator just looks insane. And it's zooming up the lift right now, so I can't wait to get on. Super excited. I'll see you guys after we ride. But a giga. Oh, yeah. 100%. got off Intimidator and that is the most insane ride I've ever ridden. Um, it just should not be going that fast. Like after the drop, it doesn't go up to another hill. It doesn't lose any of its speed. It takes a turn straight into a freaking hill after the turn, but you literally pull so much speed. You saw the clips that it showed. You're literally flying like 70, 80 miles an hour and snapping through those transitions. And there's so many snappy transitions, man. Um, unfortunately it does have those stupid intimate over the shoulder restraints, but I feel like if they weren't there, you might break your neck. So it's understandable. So you don't get too much like airtime, even on the airtime hills and on the drop, but it's still an absolutely insane ride. Um, I definitely recommend it in the back just because you haul so much faster down that first drop, but in the front you do get a good view. Um, I didn't fully gray out. My vision started to close in on me, but literally the only other ride that I've had that sensation on is Goliath. So for the two rides that have done it, it's pretty good. But anyway, I'm gonna head back with the group. We're gonna go ride some more rides. Super great ride though, intimidating, love it. Right, Anaconda was well, fun. I hear so many people say this is a horrible ride and it needs to be removed and that it's rough. And honestly, for an arrow, I've ridden much rougher. And there was only one spot that really jolted me and I still didn't headbang because like I said, just straighten up, you know, make your harness nice and tight, scoot your butt all the way back, make your shoulders wide and it's good. So yeah, fun ride. All right, back lot, stunt coasters up next. Ridden this one at Kings Island. It was fun. Um, obviously it's a clone, so nothing crazy, but I'm gonna get the credit. So yeah, I'll see you guys after that.
All right, just got off back lot stone coaster with Mark, and oh, like man. I said, you agree. Like that first helix is more intense than Dude, you'd expect, that's right? Wild, bro. Like it's not insane. Like it's not intimidating level, but you feel no. like you want to gray out a little bit. Like just a little bit. It's yeah. not really. It's a family ride, but it's got a good punch to it. But anyway, yeah. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, fun. Got the credit. I'll see you guys in the next ride. Anything? Any last words to say? Peace. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs> All right, it is hot out, man. I'm sweating, but we're heading towards the back of the park. Racer 75 is up next. I don't know if it's the same as Racer at Kings Island. It kind of looks like it's the same. It has the red tracks and the blue rails. But yeah, we got that. We got Apple's Apple. We got Grizzly. We got Twisted Timbers. And I think that's pretty much about it. There might be a few others, but yeah, I'm about to get on Racer, so I'll see you guys after that. All right, just for a racer, it was fun. Um, I don't know if it was the same as the one at Kings Island or not. It felt like it kind of was, but I feel like it could have been different. But it wasn't like the crazy fry ever, but there were a few good pops every time. But it wasn't too rough. It was pretty fun. And yeah, do you have anything to say about racer? Yeah, the lifeguard worker was kind of cute, but that's about it. <laughs> this man. All right, I'll see you guys at the next ride. Bring hugs, no homo. Bring it in, I love you. Oh, yeah, come here. Let's go. Hey, how are you? Oh, come in. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, no homo. Buddy, y'all doing this like for TikTok or something? No, we're bored. Free hugs. Free hugs at King's Dominion, ladies and gentlemen. No homo. Greatest park in the world. Free hugs! Free hugs! Yeah, buddy. Come here! Yeah, buddy. Let's go. No, I'm just kidding. All right, finally about to ride Twisted Timber. Get that drop in there, dude. I'm gonna. Look at that. I'm gonna get the drop, okay? Dude, that's a nice drop. Let's go. I'm doing my intro. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, we're gonna ride Twisted Timbers. Super excited. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be the rest, best ride in the park. Oh, 100%. Uh, not sure about that Twisted Drop, but you know, it still looks fun. And lap bars, lap bars. No stupid over the shoulder crap. Lap bars. Woo! Uh, yeah, buddy. See you guys after the ride. Hey, Cup's gotta go in the locker over here. Just rode Twisted Timbers in like, the back three, three times. times. <laughs> Straight um, up. Who knows where Emily and Zach is, but who cares? Like we're just riding Twisted Timbers as there much as we can. Um I still think Steel Vengeance is the best RMC, but this is definitely number two. Like this is absolutely insane. He hasn't ridden Steel Vengeance yet, so this is definitely like the best ride you've ridden before. Right? Number one. But yeah, so it's probably my top five, honestly. Um not number one. I I would probably still say that um well, let's see. This no, Steel Vengeance, El Toro, then probably this maybe. Um, that's why I'd probably guess maybe X2 or Railblazer above this, but honestly, this is, um, it's just the strongest airtime I've ever felt like. I think the airtime on this is better than that on Steel Vengeance. And he wouldn't know, because he hasn't ridden Steel Vengeance. Nope. But Steel Vengeance- It's a whipper over here. It is, it's I will say, I will say, the drop isn't as good as Steel Vengeance is, and it's way shorter of a ride. Like Steel Vengeance is like twice as long as this ride, but, Every airtime hill like literally rips you over it like you're flying out of your seat. Like still vengeance on the first drop in a few moments you're doing that. But a lot of it is like really big sustained hills. This is just little bunny hills that rip you around. And you know, I'm not gonna say something. I'll let you explain in like five words that outer banked airtime hill. Or no words. It's wild. <laughs> okay, yeah. Literally you're doing all these hills and you're flying out and then you come around this turn and you're like, okay, I'm turning left. And then it brings you back to the right. Y'all know what an outer bank is, but that, that literally throws you out of the seat so far, man. Like, it is insane. It's not a coasting, like, floater outer bank like on Steel Vengeance. Because no, I've no, seen no, that no, one. No, no, I just ain't never been on it. Well, yeah, the outer one, bank on Steel Vengeance this is This one, you one. go up on an inner bank, and it just whips you outside, and just straight whips right back exactly. in. Exactly. So this ride's actually violent. Um, I like that. But we're it's gonna, smooth as butter. It is. It's an RMC. So we're going to keep riding it, actually. I still have to get on Grizzly and Apple's Apple's right here. But I got the I got tomorrow to do that and Wednesday. So right now, while I'm hanging out with this guy, we're just gonna keep riding Twisted Timbers. So um, I'll get back to you guys later with more information. But for now, that's what we're doing. We're we're marathoning Twisted Timbers. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, just got off the fourth ride of Twisted Timbers. The whole group is ahead right now. It's just me. But oh my gosh, that ride is insane. Definitely after Steel Vengeance, the best arm to see. But like I said before, the best ejector time I've ever felt. If this ride had a straight drop, it would definitely it would probably be the best. But yeah, super good. I don't know what's going next, but I'll see you guys. All right, about to ride the Grizzly. 
I haven't heard the best things about this. We'll see if this or racer is better. Uh, Have you ridden Grizzly? Uh, last time I was on this a couple years ago when I last came, dude, it was pretty aggressive, but... I mean, God, stay on one side of me. Uh, my bad. <laughs> I don't remember it. I really don't. It's... All right, we'll see. I've heard things. I've heard it's not bad. I've heard it's pretty bad. It's, uh, it's in between a bad and not bad. Okay, well, we'll let you know after the ride. All right, just got off Grizzly. That kind of hurt. Horrible. <laughs> yes, his horrible. face. Like Michael Rosen would say, horrible. She had never seen anything more horrible before. No, but in, seriously. In this case, it's, I've never ridden anything more horrible. Yeah, no, that it was, was pretty, Lord. it was pretty painful. Um, and honestly, there no was like, time. There, was, there was like one or two airtime spots. Not even that. I was in my seat the whole time and I weigh less than you. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Ride it once and get the coaster credit and never ride it again. That's what I'm doing. Um, the only ride I haven't ridden yet is Apple's Apple. And we're all super hot. So we're, we're going to go ride a water ride. We're going to go ride a water ride. So I'm probably going to ride Apple's Apple tomorrow. So, yep, see you guys at the log ride. And they are soaked. Are you fixing to be soaked? Hey, buddy. Uh, you mean kind of... <laughs> I was about to say, it's so dirty joke, bro. Oh, my oh God. man. All right, we are drenched after the log ride. Wild and wet, baby. It felt good. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we're completely soaked, dude. That log ride gets me more wet than any log ride I've ever ridden. Even like. though it smelled like skunk back in the woods, but... Yeah, it was know. a little bit interesting back there, but it was pretty nice. It goes through the forest, and... Yeah, that final drop gets you pretty soaked. I showed a clip of it, and it's a pretty good splash there. Nobody. Anyway, I don't know what's up next, but I'll see you guys once the next thing happens. All right, it's about an hour till the park closes. Um, Emily was having some pain. She has some health issues. So Mark is taking her and Zach back to their hotel. Um, they're all from Tennessee, super cool people. And I'm going to Dollywood in a week, and I might see Mark there. He's seeing if he can go on Monday because he has a pass. But anyway, I'm gonna get some rides on Intimidator. Mark is actually gonna come back and meet up with me again. So I might only get one or two rides myself because the hotel's not too far away. But um, I was talking to an employee and they actually said they had Intimidator shirts there because when I was in there, I couldn't see them. And I don't know if I really talked about this in my Hershey video, but I wanted like a Skyrush shirt and a Candy Bonium shirt. They didn't have one for either of them, which was really unfortunate. But in here, I have a Twisted Timber shirt. Um, I wish they just had the Twisted Timbers logo they didn't they had a bunch of other weird shirts that were like super busy and just had random stuff on it and i'm not a huge fan of that but i still wanted to get one because it's a great ride but i'm gonna go ride intimidator right now and check out their shirts and they're gonna buy an intimidator shirt if it's good so yeah i'll see you guys over at intimidator all right i just rode intimidator six times in a row mark met back up with me for the last two rides yeah dude i passed out the first time coming he, back he did pass out down that drop i don't think he was expecting it because no i wasn't yeah because earlier when we rode this ride it was like super intense and crazy but literally it has gotten so much faster and hard throughout the day and even on all those six rides i rode it got faster every time like fury 325 is still faster okay buddy but we're gonna ride that in about a week but anyway um that ride is phenomenal oh, man i'm going to carowinds oh yeah but that ride is phenomenal, man. Like that first drop, I mean, with those, river, with those shoulder restraints, you don't get like that much airtime, but you still feel it like it floats you out. Every single turn freaking rips you around. And like the ride literally after the first drop doesn't go much more than 100, 150 feet tall. So you literally carry your speed through the whole ride. And there's some S bends and some sharp turns. I mean, I talked about it earlier, but that ride is seriously amazing. Um, Twisted Timbers is the best ride here. But that ride, that ride is definitely a very close second. So anyway, park closed in 20 minutes. So we're gonna go get as many rides on Twisted Timbers, 15, 15 minutes, okay. We're gonna go get as many rides on Twisted Timbers as we can before the park closes. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, just rode Twisted Timbers two times in a row. So that makes a total of eight times on Intimidator today, six times on Twisted Timbers. My and throat hurts from screaming so much. Yeah, literally those ride-offs were so cool. We asked if we could have a bunch of airtime room and they just said yes. So literally, and the worker was cute too. <laughs> okay, buddy. Too bad she had a boyfriend. <laughs> this man. Anyway, um, we literally put it down to where the restraint clicked and left it. So we both had like six inches of room. So every hill we were flying out of our seats. I was way more out of my seat than he was. <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm freaking fat and he's skinny. But no, you fat, <laughs> but anyway, um, I want it. I know Steel Vengeance is better in my heart. And it's still my number one, but I gotta say, that ride is literally insane. Like, 
the airtime on that ride is the strongest airtime. Like there's literally those three hills in a row and every single one just pops you out, man. And that first drop, it doesn't give you a jacker, but it gives you really good floater, like surprisingly for an inversion drop, right? Like it's pretty good. It gives me hang time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's actually hang time on the ride. There's two spots of it. But anyway, super great day at the park. Kings Dominion is awesome. I'm gonna be back here tomorrow. And it was super cool meeting these cool people, especially Mark, bro. Like, right. You're a super cool guy and it was right. awesome hanging out with you. So anyway, Thank you guys all for watching. Go back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah. He's probably going to shower. I'm going to hit up a couple of skate parks, you know, whip up over there. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm going to be back here at Kings Dominion tomorrow. So make sure you guys check out that video when it comes out tomorrow. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Any last words you want to say, Mark? Subscribe. Subscribe. You heard the man. You gotta obey him now. All right. Okay. I'll see you guys. I'll see <laughs> That's you guys. A strong in, word. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh shit.